Good morning, my name is Matthew Stones, I work at Axel in the UK and today I'd like to do a quick video on how to enable the more common peripherals used on Axel terminals. These will be sound, printers and memory sticks. So the first step is to gain access to a terminal setup. This can be done in two ways, one remotely from the Axel remote management software which is downloadable free from www.axel.com or you can do this from the terminal itself by entering setup by pressing control alt escape either way you will get to this screen okay first of all we will enable audio so to enable sound simply a matter of going to sessions pick the session that we're using and in redirected resources there is an option audio toggle that to yes and then save OK 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 and now next time the terminal reboots sound will be enabled via the USB ports the second thing we'll set up will be a printer to enable RDP redirection printing we go into ports select the port the printer is attached to in this case the USB printer on other terminals you will see the option for serial and parallel printers pick the actual printer I have an HP DeskJet F300 series printer uh, RDP IC redirection we set this to as printer and the only parameter we need to enter here is the name of the printer which can be anything you like by default we will use the generic text only driver uh, if you want to use a specific driver for that printer then you would enter it here um, to get that particular name you would go into uh, the control panel on your server go into printers and within properties on the particular printer you will see the name of that printers driver it needs to be spelt exactly the same way uh, essentially when the RDP section se session is established the terminal sends back the name and the driver the server has to recognize the driver and it will create a name a printer of that name using that driver so then we will save this and next time the user logs in they will see a printer um, called that name using that driver uh, there is another way how you can set up printing which I won't cover here where you use LPD or network printing and the benefit of that is that everybody is able to access the printer using this method only the person sat at the terminal is able to access that printer but that doesn't involve setting up on the server as well and the final thing I will do is to enable memory sticks now to do that we go into terminal global RDP ICA and USB drives access permissions we will set to read write single session and we'll leave it at the default drive letter E you may want to change that once that's been enabled on the terminal it's then a matter of going to the appropriate session and down the bottom we have redirected resources USB drive read write we then enable that to yes OK OK OK, OK. And now we have enabled that. Um, the one thing to add is if you have any difficulties with any USB printers, information can be gained from the setup diagnostic USB. And here we can see my printer and my headset listed here. Um, if you have any difficulties, then our technical support would need to know the details of the actual peripheral being used. You know, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please call your local Axel office. Uh, details can be found at www.axel.com. Thank you very much. Bye for now.